out to the break room, everybody. We have a super fun show planned today. Uh, we're gonna do some card opening on stream. But first, before we get to that, we have to cover some breaking news. This is breaking just as of the last few minutes. Hollywood Reporter has reported new dates for a bunch of Marvel series. That's right. We've got their tweet up there now. We're gonna keep coming back to this. And just so you know, when you read the article behind this news, this is not Disney or Marvel making this announcement. Yeah. This is sources inside. But Hollywood Reporter does not. Yeah, yeah. They're a very legitimate news organization. So they're sometimes sources, frustratingly so. so. Sometimes frustratingly so. So very well sourced. These are probably accurate. This is not like a janitor who overheard whispers mm -hmm. in the break room. They probably are talking to an executive or somebody who definitely would know. Okay, <laughs> let's bring back up that graphic yeah, and yeah. talk through it here. So, so some, of, sorry, Zach, please. Some of these, just to clarify beforehand, were not even announced at all, right? They say yeah. it's shifting, but some of these things we had, we had just been speculating. No, about. so this is kind of the most concrete what if season right. two date. We had long suspected uh, that it would be a 2023, late 2023 release. This is actually pretty good news. That's probably the earliest we had yeah, expected it. Though, I mean, like originally it was scheduled for like a spring 2023 release. Right. We thought we would get it earlier this year. Then it got pushed back. And then as the strike was looming right. and then came to fruition, uh, it got pushed back even more. Yeah, it's still not a hard day. It just says around Christmas around time. Around Christmas, even yeah. though it's not a Christmas-based series, kind of like Hawkeye was a holiday-based series. Yeah. Uh, they put out a Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special last year. This is not Christmas-based, though. There is some rumors out there that one of the episode titles is Happy Hogan Saves Christmas. What if Happy Hogan Saved Christmas? Oh my God! So there might funny. be a Christmas episode, and, and maybe they. Maybe they lead with that I one. I want a scroll Grinch then in that case. <laughs> I don't I, know. I want a scroll Grinch and I want the reveal that Happy Hogan is a scroll to pay off. Oh, uh, your prediction. Interesting. Your Still a scroll. Um, so yeah, that and and there is, as you mentioned, Hawkeye. There is a history of Marvel and Star Wars series kind of wrapping around the holidays. New wrapping year. or there's starting. A, there's Bo a year Hawkeye yeah. and Book of Boba Fett kind of uh, famously overlapped. Mando season one was uh, at end of. Uh, November, early December. That sounds right. So I remember yeah, yeah. being ready to go home as I gazed upon the Yeah, first, you were sitting uh, out on your front porch stoop with your bags, I mean, waiting for the car. We're so cynical, and I'm and I'm the lead, I'm, I'm the grand marshal of the cynic parade, but mm. do you remember the first episode of Mandalorian being like, oh my God, as a kid, before the prequels were even announced, you're like, will, what kind of, will we ever get new Star Wars stuff? And then it was like, that episode came out, and it had... All these little allusions to the Star Wars we knew, plus this new story of this new character, it ends with a baby Yoda. Man, it makes you think that going on Nerdrotic and <laughs> okay. ranting for six okay, hours Tyler, might Tyler, be toxic. Tyler, the, the, the member berries have been eaten. Uh, uh, but yes, <laughs> agreed. Um, okay, back to the other announcement news. So Sorry. the second one that is a little less positive, yeah. Echo, the, the brain has a good take on this, Echo, which had been previously kind of rumored to have been a November. It wasn't release. a rumor. It was scheduled to come Early. out November 29th. They were going to drop all the episodes of this yes. limited series on that date. And as a reminder, their, this, first, their first mass drop of a non animated yeah. series. Yeah. And, and this series is completed yeah. by all accounts, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. um, uh, six episodes. It's been delayed a couple times, and then the, the news was they were going to drop it all at the same time in November. Now it is being scheduled January 2024. We don't know if they're going to keep the binge. Yeah. drop model mm. or if they're going to spread it out. Um, but I liked what you had to say right before you started rolling. Yeah, as you know, right now there's a strike going on with the WGA and SAG. And so none of the actors are not allowed to promote their, you know, projects as part of the strike for good reason. Uh, and I think, you know, you could see this as ne a negative thing. Uh, but I think it's a good thing because, you know, I think Disney is hoping that by January the strike is resolved uh, and that they can have their talent promoting the show and this is a, a very diverse cast you got a lead uh, actor of the show uh Alakwa cox, Alakwa yeah. cox mm. uh uh you know who's a, a diverse person of color uh she has uh she's an amputee she's deaf like this is a person you went out promoting her work and i think this shows that they want to to give the uh the cast that ability you know we all talked about how it was a shame for like blue beetle the cast was not allowed yeah to go out and like yeah. get their flowers for the great work they've done. Well, and I think the show's Marvel wants to be able to promote the show properly. Absolutely, and you know, Echo is not a super well-known Marvel character, right? right? Mm -hmm. She obviously made an appearance in Hawkeye, so people have seen a live action portrayal, but like they need to promote this. People are probably not gonna yeah. or, uh, yeah. discover this organically. And we're starting to have real physical data of the 
financial losses studios are getting by not having uh, stars promoting them. Yeah. Yes. And I get it. You can roll your eyes at like, oh, movie stars. But sure, if you, if you don't want to listen to like their like lifestyle uh, advice, you do want to listen to them promote the projects they're working right. on. So something like Trans- or Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we have like 20 name actors in it. That lineup and that like those late night appearances in those red carpet interviews, those really help sell tickets and get people excited. And without that, and same with Blue Beetle, I mean, George Lopez has been a figure in American households for 30 years. You don't have him ringing the bell for that movie. That really hurts. Yeah. Plus, yeah, I mean, exactly what you guys are saying. Yeah. Um, and so other the next piece of news, X-Men 97, early 2024. I always hate it when they use vague Frank, things. Give like, us, Frank, give us a hard date. Yes. Frank, <laughs> friend of the show, Frank Moran, worked on that series. Text me a hard date on my Apple uh, Hopefully, Hopefully we get him on the show to talk about it. But... That's exciting. Yeah. That's relatively soon. We've known about that series for quite a while now. We've been eagerly anticipating it. I'm I'm aggressively pitching the break room to let me do an X Men animated series rewatch, uh, binge watch uh, video. So uh, if you guys are interested in that, please bother Evan. Evan, what is Evan wearing today? It looks like a full scuba suit. It's like <laughs> one of those like it could be for outdoor running in the winter, or he's got. It's skin tight, whatever it is. Yeah, it's inappropriate. And we and we is. try to remind everyone, Evan is seven two, seven three. He's very tall. And he's got it looks like whatever it is, is you know those things, morning stars, those tor- morning torture Yeah, weapons? yeah. It's like he's got a morning star, he's just waving menacingly mm-hmm. at us. So, uh, all right. so be careful how you ask, but ask Evan nicely. I think you painted a pretty accurate picture of what yeah. the office is like there, Tommy. Um and then the next item on this news is is a double whammy because there's two very interesting pieces <laughs> yeah. of information in it. Yeah. So, Agatha Darkhold Diaries coming out fall 2024. Reminder, there was at one point we thought this would be either be end of 2023 or beginning of 2024 because mm-hmm. they kind of wrapped filming right before the strike happened. Uh, so we were hoping we'd get this a little sooner. So that's a little later than we originally anticipated late next year. But they've changed the name of the series. Yeah, I I am so excited for this series and, and the cast. But can I say, with a little bit of snark, this sounds like a free form or CW <laughs> title. It like it, so, it sounds the like... The Secret Life, uh, the Secret yeah. Sex Life of College Girls. The Dark Love like Diaries. Like, yeah, yes. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, I'm definitely an elder millennial. Uh, but I... Dark Old, I liked Coven of Chaos. I got it. Yeah. Did you and, like House of Harkness? Yeah. House of Harkness even worked for me. That sounded like a Bravo fashion it show. It did. It did sound right. Make just, it work. It's it's wild because, to my knowledge, we've never had an in progress Marvel series change names. Now, most of them have names like Loki or right. Hawkeye. So Pretty, they have the name of the characters. In the <laughs> yeah. It's not the, really the much titling. Have, the movies have changed names. Falcon and more. Winter Soldier. That's true. I mean, uh, New, Brave New World yeah. uh, was New World Order mm-hmm. and, and yeah. et cetera. But um, so new name, new new release date of fall 2024. There's mm-hmm. another. This is not Hollywood Reporter, but a different a scooper, maybe less reliable, has reported that it could be around Halloween. And there's mm-hmm. another project, right? Called called Witch's Road, which Witch- is based on like a comic book storyline. That there's a rumor that they're making a, a special presentation, much mm-hmm. like uh, Werewolf by Night. That's like a one shot kind of like. Uh, telling of that comic story arc, but involves Agatha, involves other like mystical, magical so, characters. So this could be maybe that is just being incorporated. It could in be the a tie into Darkhold uh, Diaries. Agatha show. Or... Though I think if Agatha Darkhold Diaries is moving to the fall, why would you do a limited, yeah. like a special presentation anywhere near it? Also, I don't. You know, I know we're we can be spoiled brats, but like if you delay. <laughs> These things that were announced so long ago, it's like, do people have the attention span to still kind of give a shit about this? Mm. I mean, like, they will when it comes out. Like, we're all going to line up and get our dose of Marvel, med- like, our porridge. But, like, it's like you you have <laughs> WandaVision end with the, Ag- the Agatha mm. reveal. We're all excited. And that's, what, going to be five years then after? Well, like, I mean, my wow. thing is, like, if you want the strike to work, it's got to work. And this is the result well, I don't, of that. I'm not. I, I'm sorry. To be very no, clear, I'm not saying you're done with that. To be very clear, the, uh, no, but th- that's a very good point, and I agree with you. But what I, I'm saying, even without the strike, we're still running four years. Like you know, we're still running these massive gaps, and like I think, if, if anything, we learned from Game of Thrones, like the massive gaps. Is that what got you? <laughs> Zach is laughing at massive gaps. Yeah. You know what? 
I've seen a lot of massive gaps in my life, and let me tell you, it's not always pretty, and a lot of times it ends in suffering. But uh, I think, like, just th these huge, t like, lengths of time between shows, Game of Thrones famously suffered from taking two and a half years off, like, People just, life happens. Our hey, world is insane. Twin Peaks took 20 years off. No, and they no, came back strong. You're right. And then uh, Futurama takes 10 years off every of couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, those are, all, those are all good points. And, and, and we are all coming into this in, acting in good faith, hoping all of these shows are super yeah. good. And we hope that both giving them the time they need both makes sure that the show's right. really good and you know takes into account the work stoppage that's going on in Hollywood right and now. This, yeah, and the strike has to be painful for it mm -hmm. to work. I think that even more so the goodwill is being tested just in general beforehand. Like yes. they were like, we're gonna take our sweet time on these. And it's like, I don't know, you're, there's enough ammo already from people. Like if you make them wait three, four years between project announcement to when it comes out, it kind of feels like we've moved on. There's enough other things. Although the counterpoint would be everything is a uh, franchise or remake so there's really we're just gonna get 10 more you know mario and barbie and other movies in between that so Too you know sad. what maybe just i don't know johnny colt and go off the grid <laughs> <laughs> so the other uh piece of news is the iron heart series which again completely shot mm -hmm. uh is off the schedule now that's interesting wording it doesn't mean it's canceled that doesn't mean it's back right. yeah. and they're never going to release it it's just not currently scheduled it had been we we thought we kind of heard rumors that might have been an early 2024 release. Because yeah. they had points. showed they showed significant footage at yeah. D23 a year ago, uh, yeah. September of 20 of uh, 2022. So it seemed like they were pretty far along. The article goes on to mention, you know, that they finished shooting that show, but they the strike has like interrupted completing it. Now, amongst all this too, there are like uh, there's news that like internally the Marvel VFX artists mm. are like unionizing right now. So like I don't know if that slowed down production in house. For these kind of things and again with with a writer strike and an actor strike you can't do reshoots you can't do adr sessions you can't you can very you're very limited on what editing you can even do on it yeah. you yeah. have to stick to the script you have so you can't make yeah. those changes so even, right now even a series that's 90 percent done right you can't do that last 10 percent. Right. and i think yeah. it being off the schedule again this is not an official thing from marvel or disney this is sources say now those sources could be very high up and yeah. very, and this is how they want to get the news out. They don't want to put out an official well, release. Zach, Zach is very media savvy and mentioned like, there's no, it's no coincidence this comes out on Friday afternoon. Yeah, fr yeah like Friday. Friday. Everyone preps their cars to go to Catalina. <laughs> before uh, they before drive, a holiday. Yeah, you take your car to Catalina, damn dog. Um, yeah, Friday, well, if you want to, if you want to make I the do. jump, if you want to make the jump, you got to get ready. It's not recommended. My car is in really bad shape. Um, yeah, you typically big companies, PR agencies, whatever. You dump bad news on a Friday yeah. when nobody's paying attention, right? right? Um, Speaking so, of which, my rent's going to be a little late. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, and then the, the last two pieces of news, Daredevil Born Again, paused. Right. Wonder Man, paused. Now, I think paused means we know they were literally in the middle of filming right. Wonder Man mm -hmm. when the WGA strike started. The, the strikers literally stopped production. They, yeah, they, the they did the press. same thing with yeah. Daredevil, too. I think the bad we were shooting in New York. That. Yeah, uh, well, they, they, they had to stop. They can't yeah. do anything. So, you know, they haven't even uh, completed filming of those series. They're still in the middle of it. So they can't even slate it until they know when the strike's going to end and when they can yeah. start working again. So those things are just paused, and we'll probably get news on those when the work stoppage is over. So, yeah. Which, um, you know, hopefully is soon. I yeah, mean, let's hope. it does feel, knock on wood, as though the... the uh, Social war side of it has been right. won, but now it's like, well, now we get to see how truly evil money is. Like, I mean, it, will people that are have been proven wrong pay up, or will they just continue to be like, well, we don't have yeah. to, we can wait out? Sorry, it, Brandon. I no, you. it's the power of labor, and it's yeah. Labor Day weekend, and this yeah. is what we should be thinking about. You know, that's right. That's why uh, we all gather up, go yeah. out, and uh, sit on a uh, generic. Uh, donut inner tube instead of anything branded. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna forsake my Star Wars Chewbacca's palm print uh, inner tube that I savor and I treasure. Uh, I won't be using that this weekend. Oh, it breaks okay. my heart. That's um, good. But I guess yeah, uh, a good union. You union win some, you know, some. <laughs> Just a, a final recap here. So the end of this year, right? We have Loki coming up in mm -hmm. October. Mm -hmm. The Marvels in November. Nothing else. We think. I'm holding out hope for a surprise special presentation. I think the odds are slim, but... Uh, and I'm then, with you, though, because I love those. The yes. Werewolf by Night was also, so awesome. We, yeah. 
Sorry. Sorry. No, no. Uh, and they famously don't do a lot of promo before those. Mm -hmm. They kind of just kind of slip them out. Uh, but then beginning of 2023, uh, or kind of end of 2023, and beginning of 2024, we're getting What If. Um, then probably early, we are getting... Um, X-Men. X-Men 97. Yep. Uh, at some point, we're getting Echo. Echo. Right, and then a little bit later, we're getting the Agatha series uh, yeah. with who knows what else dropped in. There's a chance that they can pick back up on Daredevil, and that might get out next year. Yeah. Maybe they're able to do the post production on Ironheart that gets out yeah. next year. Film wise, we hope we still yeah. have. Um, we're gonna have Sony has a few pictures scheduled for Craven. 2023. Craven they have pushed Madam next year. Web, Madam Craven. Web. They gotta put out Aquaman at some point. Oh well, don't no, we cannot. If you say it three times, he comes out of the. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, Aquaman this year, of course. Yeah. yeah, just talking Marvel for now. But oh, and then, sure, sure, sure. Um, uh, Madam Web, Craven, and Venom Three are all scheduled for next year. Venom Three has not begun filming though, right. so we'll we'll believe that when we see they it. They could bring that out in a weekend, I think. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I feel like it's that's mostly, mostly Tom footage. Hardy writes it. Tom Hardy writes <laughs> it's it. All it. Yeah, we know yeah. we know the script doesn't take much time. He goes to some ADR in the booth. <laughs> bada boom, you done. No, no, no. I love those movies. But, uh, too many men in that cast. Uh, but uh, and then. Uh, as far as the big MCU releases, we're getting um, Deadpool mm -hmm. late in the year. We're getting... Uh, Supposedly Brave New World. Yes. And Thunderbolts. Thunderbolts is still on the schedule for late 2024, yeah. but I don't know. So, I don't I, think they've begun too much work on that movie. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah, yeah. crossed. Also, there is also I Am Groot season two is coming oh, out next that's week. that's next week? Mm -hmm. That's so, good You will point. get that too. I forgot too. about that. Also, oh, I got screeners for that today. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. so did we. Um, uh, and then, of course, okay. well, all right. we don't know. Uh, <laughs> what a flex. Uh, we don't know. There's there's a Marvel Zombies show oh, out yeah. there somewhere. There's that could be a special. They could shift that to a special presentation. That would be a good, that'd be a good mm -hmm. Halloween drop. Kind of smart. Uh, and there's a, a Spider-Man freshman year animated series right. yeah. at some point. Yeah. So, um, And who knows, the Tom, Zack, and Brandon animated series we've been pitching hard to Disney. Could be. It's taking me a long as, time to draw it's, it. It's, as, it's, as, it's as, called, uh, we manifest our powers on our 40th birthday. <laughs> <laughs> The power to balance a bank account. That's, that's why I've been shooting laser beams out of my eyes for almost a year already. <laughs> Diamond um, hands. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so uh, we will keep you up to date. Any more news, uh, rumors, leaks, whatever, come out specifically about scheduling. We want to stay on top of it as we as this stuff develops. Yes. You know you can come here to your to your friends at the break room for all the latest. Your friend, your friends, your role models. <laughs> oh. Your uh, your gurus. Mm. Or as I call myself, your sanitation commissioner. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, we're going to transition here. Stick around on stream. We're going to get into our card opening. If you're watching on YouTube, keep an eye out for that video. And thank you so much for watching this one. Bye. Bye.